Welcome to AppSol PV3D. PV3D, Parametric 3D Pressure Vessel for AutoCAD. PV3D is an AutoCAD tool developed by AppSol Studio. It is used to develop 3D model of pressure vessel using input parameters. It generates accurate 3D model and can be used to create elevation view and plan view for general arrangement drawing. It also generates bill of materials for vessel and nozzles. These can be exported to Excel CSV file. PV3D version 1.0 works on AutoCAD 2013 or 2014 or 2015. Let's see how it works in AutoCAD. In AutoCAD, there is AppSol PV3D ribbon. Click PV3D button. PV3D window will appear. PV3D has four tabs. One for AppSol logo. Two for vessel modeling. Three for nozzle modeling. Four for bill of materials. Enter vessel diameter. Enter tangent tangent length. Select bottom head type. Select top head type. Enter bottom head thickness. Enter top head thickness. Enter bottom head straight flange. Enter top head straight flange. Enter number of shell courses. Enter shell corrosion allowance. Enter first shell course thickness. Click add. Enter second shell course length. Enter second shell course thickness. Click Add. Enter third shell course thickness. Enter third shell course length. Click Add. Enter fourth shell course thickness. Click Add. Click Add again for fifth shell course. Click Draw 3D. Enter skirt thickness. Enter skirt length. Click Cal button. Re enter skirt ID at base. Click Draw 3D. Select anchor bolt size. Click draw 3D. Open nozzle tab. Enter nozzle tag. Select bottom head. Select nozzle type as with reinforcement pad. Select pipe NPS as 8 inch. Select pipe schedule as standard. Enter reinforcement pad diameter. Enter offset distance from vessel axis. Enter nozzle orientation angle. Enter nozzle projection. Select flange attached as yes. Select flange type. Select flange face type. Select flange rating. Select blind attached as yes. Select gasket type. Click draw 3D. Nozzle is attached. Select attached to as top head. Select nozzle size. Enter reinforcement pad diameter. Enter offset distance. Select flange type. Select flange rating. Select gasket type. Enter nozzle tag. Click draw 3D. Check nozzle is modeled correctly. If not, user can delete nozzle and add again. Also nozzle data shall be deleted from bill of materials by selecting row and pressing delete key from keyboard. Changing nozzle projection and adding same nozzle again by clicking draw 3D button. User can see that the same nozzle added successfully in model and in bill of materials. Now add nozzle on shell. Nozzle elevation can be entered between shell course length limits. User can see the limits in tooltip. Select flange type. If the standard size is not available, PV3D gives message. Select other size. Now select flange type again. Select flange rating, PV3D automatically gets OD and thickness for LWN flanges. 
Select blind attached or gasket type. Select nozzle type as without reinforcement pad and click draw 3D. User see that the nozzle is attached on shell 0. Now change the nozzle elevation value greater than shell course limits. User see that PV3D automatically change shell course in list. Now change the nozzle size. Enter neck thickness manually. Select nozzle type as with reinforcement pad. Enter reinforcement pad diameter. Select flange type. User see that PV3D automatically shows option as per nozzle size selected. Change nozzle projection. Change nozzle orientation angle. Click draw 3D. User can see the nozzle is attached. User can also change data in bill of material. If nozzle tag typed incorrect, user can modify it in bill of material manually. Bill of materials can be exported to Excel CSV file. Now let's see the model in shade mode. Thanks for watching Absol PV3D.